morning. You join me at Hunts Corner Lake Millennium Fisheries in Oxford. I've got lucky enough to get a fish in the net. So what we're going to do today is run through how to use the new Armo retention sling safely and effectively so you get the most out of it. Right, now the fish is in the net. The first thing I do, obviously making sure that the margins are safe, is get in the water and then hook him straight away and get my rod and the rig out of the way. That means that if you're pulling around, there's a likelihood if the line's tight, it can pull the tail in its mouth. So doing that, there's no line out of the way. It's nice and safe in the net. So what I'm going to do now is fold him down, making sure obviously he doesn't come out. And being really gentle, don't rush him, thrash him about because it will stress him out. And then just gently roll the net down. And then before you lift them out, always check that the pecs are flat against the body. If you put them the other way, there's a possibility you can break them. So before you even pull any weight on him, check that the pecs are flat. And then before you lift them up, I always support my bottom one on my right hand is just to support the bottom of him because if you just lift him purely up all the weight is on their bellies so if you just lift him up like so then we'll get him on the mat and put him in the sling right I'll just get the fish out of the water so now I've put him on the mat I've got the sling out ready to put him on so he's just ready just to slide out of the net gently doing it don't rush it so it stresses him out and just slowly peel the net away making sure again his pecs are flat, fold it over and keep his eyes covered. Each side there's a zip, zip it fully round to the middle and same with the other side. That then obviously stops them getting out which is what you don't want. There, as you can see, sealed together, there's no way they're going to separate. So again before I lift him out, because all he needs to do is shake a little bit and he'll kick the pec back out so I'll check him. Make sure he's alright. This point, let's get him in the water and keep him in for a bit. Right, he's in the water safely now. Now all I have to do is just clip this on to the little ring that's on either side of the sling. But I'll put him on this side because his head's facing that way. So I want to gently push him out. Obviously so the water goes past, not back through his gills. And as you can see, that's not going anywhere. So I'll leave him there for about 10-15 minutes. Let's go and get all the camera stuff set up. Right, now the fish is safely in the sling, it's vital that you get everything ready. So firstly, mat, nice big padded mat which is essential. And then the area it's in is, is nice and flat, it's not on a slope, it's not gravelly so the fish can slide off. And plus the background, you want a nice black ground and create a nice frame for like make a nice picture. And then I have my three essentials which is my carp care kit, scales and then camera. Have them all ready so you're not like rushing around, running back to your bivvy when the fish is on the mat and always have a bucket of water just to keep them nice and wet. Just go and get them out and get some pictures. Here we have it, a cracking mid-double. Follow these procedures every time and then the fish are going to be there for the future for the next angler to come along and catch him. You know, because this is what we come out for and it's vitally important we look after them.